Welcome along to this presentation of SharePoint 2010 and Office 2010. So we'll start off today by having a look at Word 2010. So again, as you have a look at this on the screen, you'll see that it looks very similar to Office 2007. Uh, basically, you have the ribbon interface across the top, number of tabs with obviously different options for that within each one of those. Again, it's a basic word processor as Word has always been, very good at creating documents and doing all the standard word processing stuff. So again, I can simply create words, highlights, do all that sort of thing, so it does all the word stuff very well. One of the advantages that Office 2010 brings to uh, many of the applications is now the ability to customise the ribbon. So again, just going over the ribbon, right mouse click, select the option to customise the ribbon. Now you can see you can select from any of the options that are available and you can move them into the, any of the ribbons that you desire. So again, much more customization. One of the other nice features, for example, is if I take a copy of what I've created and I paste it, you'll notice that what I can do here is that I have the option for what's known as live preview. So again, the first paste option is to paste exactly the same formatting, the second option is to merge the formatting, and the third option is to text only. So again, I can see the preview before I actually paste the text. One of the other big changes to many of the Office applications is what's known as this backplane. So in the top left-hand corner, you'll notice that the file tab is actually a different color. If I select that, you'll see many of the command features reside here. So for example, we're on the info tab, we can look at the permissions, prepare the document for sharing. But over here on the right, you'll notice that we get a preview of our document as well as the properties and information about that document. So that's very handy. One of the new menu options you'll notice here is something called Save and Send. So what I've got here is the ability to send it to an email, but you'll notice there are two new options here, Save to the Web and Save to SharePoint. So with Save to Web, what I can do is I can link this version of Office directly to a free online storage provided by Microsoft known as SkyDrive. So again, if I go to my SkyDrive, you'll see here that this gives me 25 gigabytes of free storage and I can store files and folders simply by uploading them directly to the internet and then making them available either to myself or share them with others. So a big advantage of the new Office products is the ability to save directly to these online areas in the cloud. The other option I've got here is to save to SharePoint. So again, like I can save directly to a space on the internet, I can also have the option to save directly to, Sh to SharePoint. Now my SharePoint can be on-site or it can be off-site. Basically all I have to do is put the information in about my SharePoint and again I can save directly to that location. So again all the standard Office applications, Word, Excel, PowerPoint now support this ability to save not only to your local file system but also to directly to the internet and also to SharePoint.